Hi, this is Brandon Spilly from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about an exercise called the alternating band pull apart. This is a great exercise to put in your training programs for athletes and clients to get some upper back rehab, prehab, and it's just a variation of the good old fashioned band pull apart. We've talked about the band pull apart in a previous video, so you can definitely check that out on YouTube or our website. However, this is a nice way to be able to implement some change, but also there's some really nice things about this exercise that the other band pull apart kind of just misses out on. So our standard band pull apart, we have our hands down. I've got a mini band here, uh, doubled up, but you know, uh, apply the band based upon the strength of your athlete or your client. But palms are down, we're gonna actually pull the, pull the band apart with our shoulder blades, okay? Or rather, our musculature that move our shoulder blades. But what I mean by that is that we don't wanna see our clients and our athletes doing tricep extensions to the elbow, okay? Arms long, really reach, and then pull, okay? The alternating band pull apart, we're going to start in that same position. We're going to hold one hand out and we're going to move the other while the other arm that's out in front of us is isometrically going to maintain its position. So as you can see, that's probably a little more difficult than your standard band pull apart. One thing you've got to make sure that you know when you do this is that as you pull that one arm, the isometric arm is actually continuing to have to work harder and harder and harder as the band gets longer, right? That's the whole point of the bands, is that as it gets longer, the tension increases. So just keep that in mind with where you're putting your hands. When we program these, we usually like three to five sets of anywhere between, I don't know, usually eight to 10 reps per arm. Um, we increase the volume, you know, we definitely try to get a bunch of work in. This is almost more like an active recovery exercise between other stuff, or we superset it with all of our accessory work. Um, by no means is this like, you know, an exercise that you just put by itself. It's even at the point where, for many of your athletes, it could be part of their warm-up protocol um, in, in terms of what they're doing there. So you've got a lot of different options um, available with this. Um, it's super easy, but if you're tired of doing just band pull-aparts to no avail, this is at least one way to mix it up. So if you have any questions, feel free in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.